Our Shelf. I'm Rachel, this is Ruby. Hello. And we're doing a video for Newspeaks about Yemen. Because we've heard that Britain is involved in a war in Yemen and we were like, what? That doesn't sound like Britain. No, Britain stays out of the Middle East. Famously. So we asked our friends and family if they knew a bit more about the situation in Yemen. So, sir, what do you think about the situation in Yemen? Um, I don't know a lot about the situation in Yemen. I know they've just started mentioning it in the news just recently. What do you think of the situation in Yemen? What is the situation in Yemen? So, um, the, the situation in Yemen? What do you think about the situation in Yemen? Yemen. That was useless. So we're never speaking to them again. Instead, we turn to our real mother, the internet. Yemen evolves into chaos. Saudi tanks on their way to the border. A coalition of regional countries led by Saudi Arabia has been carrying out airstrikes in Yemen, the Arab world's poorest nation. A lot of uh, boys, a lot of uh, girls, a lot of uh, women, and that's forbidden. Saudi Arabia says it wants to destroy the rebel Houthi movement, which seized the country's capital, Sana'a, last year. We've heard reports of deliberate attacks on civilians Attacks that could amount to war crimes. Oh, oh uh, but it's not Britain, is it? I mean, Britain, Britain's here. Yeah, and this is happening over there. Yeah. While all of this has been going on, the UK's response has been to sell more and more weapons, which has killed thousands of civilians, which has destroyed vital infrastructure, including hospitals, including homes for the blind including uh, water systems. That doesn't seem like the best response to the bombing of hospitals. No, that suggests we're involved. Um, but not but not involved involved, it's just casual. Your thousands of civilians have been killed uh, in Yemen, including a large number by the Saudi Air Force. Ah, yeah, that's right. And they've done that using British-built planes mm -hmm. yep. with pilots who are trained by British instructors mm -hmm. who are dropping British-made bombs oh and are coordinated by the Saudis in the presence of British military yep. advisors. Oh. It kind of sounds like we're involved, involved. We're involved, involved. Why are we selling arms to Saudi Arabia? There does need to be uh, a political solution um, in Yemen. What we've got to do is talk to the parties, encourage the parties to get back uh, into dialogue. Oh, talking. Can't talk without arms. More arms, more chat. But this has been going on for decades. For years now, Saudi Arabia has been the largest buyer of UK arms anywhere in the world. Since David Cameron came to office, it licensed about £7 billion worth of arms. And yet, the issue goes wider than Saudi Arabia. Every year, the government produces its own human rights and democracy report, which lists six countries of concern. These are countries where there are serious concerns about the state of human rights or democracy. The last report had 28 countries listed. And since David Cameron came to office, the UK has licensed arms to 24 of them. Okay, so that sounds pretty bad, um, but it can't be that bad. It's not like there was an official UN inquiry or anything. Yeah, there was only an attempt in an official UN inquiry. Which was blocked by Saudi Arabia. Who are on the UN Human Rights Council. Because Britain elected them then. Oh my God. We, in November, did a deal with the Saudis that we would back them joining the Human Rights Council of the United Nations providing they backed us. Why we do this deal then? I mean, they're not the right sort of people to be doing any sort of a deal on human rights. Oh, we uh, totally oppose their record in that area. Why did we do it? Well, I say we totally oppose their record. No, but why did we do it? Well, I've, I've answered the question. Great. That clears that up. So, Britain is involved in the war in Yemen, and we're selling a lot of arms to places with bad human rights records. But well, why are we doing that? Exactly. We've answered that question. <laughs> we definitely haven't answered yes, that we've question. Answered that no, question. but when exactly? Yes, thank you. We've answered yeah, the okay, question. but you're saying you've you're answered welcome. the question. We've answered <laughs> Not good. Why are we doing 